Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. On this edition of Lee's Player Profiles Point Projection, we have the one and only Mitchie Marner. So let's get right into it. Mitch Marner, age 23, 5'11", 170 pound, right winger, signed all the way up till 2025 at 10.893. Of course, yes, just like Austin Matthews, he needed to get his number in there. Yes, he wears number 16 for the Leafs, but he was number 93 throughout his uh, young, illustrious career thus far, especially he wore 93 for the London, uh, London Knights of the OHL. <clears throat> he was drafted in the first round in 2015, fourth overall by the Toronto Maple Leafs. And um, ever since getting into the NHL, he has been an absolute stud. He's done very, very well for the Leafs. He had an outstanding junior career. And once he stepped on the ice with the Toronto Maple Leafs, um, he was absolutely brilliant. He came in the same year as uh, Austin Matthews. Um, Nylander came in to his first full season with the Leafs that same year. It was the year that uh, Toronto defied all the odds, made the playoffs, and gave Washington a massive, massive scare. And Mitch Marner played a big role in that season. So let's get right into uh, into his points, where he's come from, where he's at now, and his projected points for 2020-2021. So where did it all begin? Let's go all the way back to uh, the 2012-2013 season. Mitch Myers' AAA season with the Don Mill Flyers and 86 points in 55 games. In that same year, he got some, uh, some time in the OJHL with the St. Michael's Buzzards. Um, Brilliant. And where does he go? Goes to the OHL. Following that season, he ends up in the OHL, playing for the London Knights. 59 points in 64 games as a rookie, 13 goals, 46 assists. He was able to show a lot of people his skill. Even though he was undersized, he was able to show that he had it. And he did so in the um, World Hockey Cup, World Hockey Championship, sorry, in uh, 2017 for the under-17 Team Ontario, having nine points in five games. His second year in the OHL, he was an assistant captain with the London Knights. I personally got to watch some of these games, um, some of them live, some of them at, uh, at home on the TV, obviously. Uh, he had 126 points in 63 games. Uh, he got more ice time, more opportunity on the power play, and he ended up posting 44 goals and 82 assists for 126 points. In this season, he ended up uh, getting to play with uh, Christian Dvorak, and I think it was Matthew Kachuk in this season. Um, if not, it was in the, the following one. Either way, absolute dominant performance. He also had 16 points in seven playoff games. 2015-2016, uh, this is after he's been drafted by the Leafs. He ends up going back to London he has 39 goals in 57 games, 77 assists, 116 points for the London Knights. Um, this might have been the Kachuk, Dvorak, Marner year. He was he was absolute dominant. There was games where he had seven or eight points. Um, there was one I think I watched. They won. I was like 11-6, and Marner was in on basically every single play. He was that dominant. And that carried over to the playoffs where he had 44 points in 18 playoff games. That same year, he got to play in the World Juniors, so the Under-20 World Junior Championship, where he had six points in five games. Following that 2015-26 season, he finally made his debut for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, it was Austin Matthews' debut. Nylander's getting his first uh, real crack of being an, a Leaf for the entire season. And Mitch Marner is up with the team. And he doesn't disappoint. 61 points in 77 games, four points in six playoff games in that Washington Capitals series. Um, great, great start to his career. And he ends up uh, going to uh, the World Championships for Canada and getting 12 points in 10 games that same year. Um, following that, 2017 2018, again, etching close to that 70 point mark, 69 points in 82 games, 22 goals, 47 assists. In the playoffs, he had nine points in seven games. Again, we're not going to talk about it and what happened, since I am a Leafs fan. Uh, he's looking good. 2018-2019, he absolutely 
first set of the gate. 26 goals, 68 assists, 94 points in 82 games. And uh, wow. Now he struggled a bit in the playoffs there. Four points in seven games against Boston. But he did have some moments where maybe the points were there. But his penalty kill, blocking shots, um, blocking more shots, his hustle, his speed, everything he did, he's a team first guy. Um, and what happens? He gets his massive contract that he needs. And if you think about it, like a lot of people were upset about his contract. Me, 94 points in 82 games. Why not? Just give it to him. You'll, you'll, you'll sort it out later. Um, Matthew's got his contract. Nylander got his contract. Give Marner his contract. He, he did well. Then this past season, 2019-2020, people thought he had a down year. The kid had a down year of 67 points in 59 games, 16 goals, 51 assists. Um, you, he was on pace for, I think it was 94 points again. Like he was in that low to mid 90s again. Um, playoffs um, didn't go as well. Uh, he worked hard just like the previous year, but it's just not clicking for him. There's a few mistakes here and there, and he just couldn't really get it going. But if you watched it, not many of the Leafs could. Corpusalo and uh, Merzlikens just shut the door on the Leafs. So he had four assists in five games. But again, Mitch Marner's elite. And uh, I think he's just going to stay that way. I expect Mitch Marner to be well over a point per game, continuing on his career, especially at only 23 years of age. So let's get into our, predict uh, our prediction, shall we, for the 2020-2021 season. So it's time. Mitch Marner in 2020-2021 in an 82-game season. I expect him to play every single game. 82 games, 24 goals, 71 assists for 95 points. 18 penalty minutes and a plus-minus of plus 19. Um, last year, his penalty minutes went down, but I expect it to go up with more games. Uh, he only had 16 goals, but again, that was in... I guess less games, obviously. So I think he's going to uh, get in between that 22 and 26 from the pre two previous seasons before this lockout, not lockout, COVID uh, season. So I'm going to go with 24. I think he's going to beat uh, 70 assists this beat a 70 assists this year. Um, so again, new career high in assists. I think previous career was 68, and I'm going to go with 95 points. I think, like I said before, he's going to stick with that low to mid 90s range. And I expect nothing less next year for Mitch Marner. I think he has something to prove since the, since the playoffs. And he's going to come out flying. Overall, I think Mitch Marner is going to be the highest points on the Leafs. Those assists are going to help out that power play time. Feeding Austin Matthews, feeding Tavares. Just, he's, he's brilliant. He really is. He's going to be worth the money. I don't know why people are upset about it. He's worth it. He's a 90-plus point player. And he will be in 2020 20. 21. And there we have it. Previous points, tick. Projected points, tick. If you like this video, please click like. If you want to subscribe, feel free to subscribe. Please comment down below your thoughts on the video, your thoughts on the Leafs going forward, the projected points, what are your predictions. Um, feel free to check out some of my other videos. I've got more about the Leafs, the NHL in general, and of course some NHL 21. Again, thank you for watching. Speak to you next time.